Hi there everyone, this is Liz. It's time for a new intuitive energy update. We have a new week ahead and the energies are floating and wants to be transformed. <laughs> That's how it feels anyway. Uh, I will tune in to my light team and uh, see what they want to talk about today. So just give me a moment to tune in and then I will start. All right, so they are showing me a lot of doors opening, uh, doors with um, um, yeah, simply doors that are uh, gliding open and and moving and <clears throat> and there's a lot of doors. So I'm wondering if there are a lot of different uh, ways of thinking that you're doing right now that you're kind of distracting yourself from being more concentrated in your energies. So I'm being told that it's it's different for everyone out there, <laughs> of course, since you, you are several and many people who are listening. Um, so apply whatever I say or we say, apply this into your own life, <clears throat> what it means for you. Uh, so there are a bit of a, there's both a, mm, good energy about this but it's also something to think about so don't be too distracted in many different directions and areas of your, of your life <clears throat> try to narrow things down and make yourself and your goals more concentrated in your energy because that will help you forward and then the big door will open so because i'm seeing a mind who is uh, like almost all over the place thinking like that thinking like that thinking like that what if this what if that and that doesn't help they say that doesn't help in the in the life where you are right now and what you actually want to do or create so narrow those door openings down a bit be more concentrated and focused, centered in yourself. And you can practice this center feeling, whatever you do in your life, not only if you're meditating, but you can do that when you are standing by the sink and doing some wash, uh, washes or dishes, I mean, <laughs> sorry. Um, or if you, Whatever you're doing, if you're out walking or <clears throat> you can practice on, <coughs> I'm so sorry, you, you can practice on being uh, centered by focus your in, intention to the center part of your body in your mind. You imagine this and you center yourself in your body and um, imagine that you're kind of bringing the energy that you consist of bring that into you bring all your awareness to that centered point of your body and feel how that calms you down feel how that anchors you and feel how that um, focus help you to be um, also in your heart and listening more within um, and that also since it's in your center of your body even if it's in your you know if it's in your solar plexus or in your heart um, it will take away the focus from this scattered mind you know that are all over the place sometimes in thoughts and ideas or distractions there's a lot of talk about distractions today for some reason and we can as humans we can distract ourselves in so many different ways and mm, kind of entertain that 
distractions by not being aware of that we're doing it or we can entertain it because it, 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 we think that it might help us lower our stress levels or something or we think that we have to do certain things to keep us updated or to keep us um, occupied or uh, to make things done in a certain amount of time. We have all these concepts of <clears throat> how these so-called distractions helps us <laughs> but they actually just bring us uh, more away from um, that concentrated energy that we need to be in right now. <clears throat> so that what what they want to tell you about um, the doors, there are too many doors opened. And so close some doors to be more focused and you will get so much better results. You will get so much clearer in your mind and in your heart with your feelings. Dare to close some doors sometimes and dare to uh, put your feet down when you need to set boundaries. Because uh, everything that are kind of floating away like this and like just being put on into the future while well, I do that later or whatever. It's still the energy still remains there and needs to be solved and addressed. Um, that's what I'm hearing. And so on the positive note, with all these um, uh, many doors open, there's also, if we look at it, on the other perspective, they say, it can also mean that you have a lot of um, possibilities in your life. Or at least you will enter a period where there are a lot of possibilities. And um, how to navigate uh, through this ocean of possibilities that life actually are. You still need to be centered. You still need to be in contact with yourself, with your soul and with your heart to navigate uh, the way forward. So on a positive note, they want you to know that life is endless with possibilities and, and you can enter any door you, you, you want to. But to navigate this way forward, you need to be in contact with yourself and um, don't get into the distractions. I don't know why they keep repeating these distractions all the time, um, but um, sometimes the mind keeps us occupied also um, like that because we are used to it. We, we have had a programming that keeps us in that state so the the brain kind of naturally just jump into it very quickly without we realizing it um, until afterwards maybe well that wasn't really a good decision or or whatever so you're kind of being encouraged to to um, tune in and think before in beforehand to the uh, possibilities that are um, standing before you, that are laid out before you. And <clears throat> they are always there. The possibilities of life is always there. So it's not about a certain event or it's not about um, mm, that life needs to take a specific direction for you to acknowledge or see the possibilities. 
that is only a limitation or, or a limited belief in your mind that the possibilities are um, only restricted to a specific uh, situation. So start to create or now, even uh, if you feel that you don't have <laughs> so many possibilities, because they are, they are there laid before you, the doors are opening and it's for you to grab that inner opportunity of energy and light and create something from that. So you are the alchemist. You are the one who transform something into reality. Because life is never, um, life is never holding back possibilities from you. The only thing that can restrict you from entering a certain path is your own restricted belief system. So whatever you believe, whatever you think you need to do to be able to get to a certain point or enter a certain thing uh, in your life, that's only a way of thinking. It's not the reality. The reality is within your creation, what you create. And the reality is always there for you to, to grab. And what I mean about reality, I mean, since we're still in 3D <laughs> most of the time, in our consciousness is still, you know, we're pending up and down in, in, in our dimensions and 3D, 4D, 5D, or even higher. Since so now and when I'm talking to my spiritual guides, you know, they have a very high um, frequency. So no, no matter what, you know, the reality in a 3D world is a physical manifestation still. But you are cooperating with the higher frequency within you to manifest, even if it's um, energetic, energetic manifestation, uh, or if it's a um, more physical manifestation, it's your to be the alchemist and to understand what you are creating in your life, in your everyday life. And <clears throat> uh, so I'm kind of way, I'm kind of getting like, don't wait for, for, don't, don't wait for things to come to you create energetically um, by your thoughts, by your feelings, um, by the things in, that you do in your everyday life that can help you um, transform something. So no matter what state you wake up in in the morning, if you wake up happy or if you that's that's good that's a really good start to start to create your day and also if you do that every day of course you will transform your life but if you wake up in the morning and feel mm, <laughs> simply like shit <laughs> if you wake up in the morning and don't feel inspired you feel a heaviness from your circumstances or you feel that you are in a situation that um, brings you down, brings you sorrow, sadness, anger, whatever it is um, that affects your day. Um, practice on breaking those patterns um, and start with that immediately when you wake up in the morning and when you get out, out of the bed. Start with a good, positive routine for yourself. That's what they are saying to me now. And whatever that might be for you, you know, a practical, good, 
a routine <clears throat> that feels make you feel more lighter make you feel uh, less heavy if that's in your energy so much that you wake up like that um, so start with new um, routines that helps you to lift the whole day and then keep on checking in with yourself a few times each day like three four times during the day check in with yourself to your mental state and your emotional state and immediately when you find yourself slipping away from the from the path of possibilities and uplifting energy where you feel that you are the creator and you are the alchemist bring you back forward to that energy if you feel that you're slipping away from that during the day because it's a daily work to long-term transform your life uh, and you can do it you know it's it's possible so <laughs> as as we are talking about today everything is possible and everything will start to change very rapidly when you do the daily practices and also as a reminder it's not um, it's not all about the outer world and the, and the physical reality that you want to change uh, around you um, about work relationship or um, circumstances whatever it's it's within it's within your body it's within your health it's um, tuning into the the flowing energy that steady wants to circulate and bring you um, new refillment every single hour and minute for every breath you take your body wants to infuse new energy for you and you can't feel the resist resistance towards life if that's going to happen because you're kind of closing off the cells both the physical cells but also the energy um, that you uh, consist of and surround yourself with um, so and I think I talked about this before practice on being open and receiving that still is very important uh, for for the energies to be able to be refilled for you to be able to bring in new frequencies and more more lightness into your life and if it happens to be that you are in another state in your life where it's quite positive you know you you, you feel that life flows and you have good things in your life that you enjoy and you feel purpose high, higher purpose about the things you do and so on then those possibilities and doors that I have been talking about uh, are like way showers for you how to bring everything uh, into a new form still because they are still talking about our human mind still thinks a lot about physical uh, realities of physical manifestations and and that's fine we might we might we might need a new car or we not might need a, um, uh, whatever it is we need to be able to to uh, do what we are doing here on earth uh, but the mind is is very occupied by the physical reality and for you to bring all the good things that you might already have as well in your life you want that energy to be consistent and overflowing and thriving not only now but also in 10 years or 20 years you know um, 
for, for you to be able to do that, it's by living in the moment, connecting with yourself and being in that flourishing energy, um, manifesting that with belief. Because there's a lot of people who um, get the manifestations and changes in their life that they want, but they're still not happy or they don't manage to um, hold on to that energy and, and they might even lose it because they still have the old beliefs um, or the old energies um, from the past. They, they might still have that within them in their subconscious mind so when you still have that program no matter if you <laughs> if you win the lottery or if you have the amazing relationship or if you have that amazing house that you always wanted you might even you know lose those things or don't feel happy about those things because you have not let go of the old belief systems or the old programmings, the old feelings of being let down or the old feelings of um, not having enough or the old, you know, the old, all the old things, <laughs> they might still be there energetically. So So it's about bringing everything that you are, you're, you're wholesome, you know, all the possibilities that you are inside of you. And that in, must include the soul because the soul's energy is so light, bright and amazing and full of, uh, um, you know, <laughs> full of everything that you could ever possibly ask for and, and it's creation, it's natural creation. So if you bring that energy and integrate that into your physical life, into the now, no matter how, where you are, in what state you are, if, you, if you're feeling bad in your life right now or if you're feeling quite good or whatever, still practice on integrating your soul energy more and more and make sure that you um, working on letting go of the old um, the old <laughs> simply no matter what what it is uh, i also want to say something about since we live in a in a parallel life where everything happened all at once this this makes it a bit a bit more trickier <laughs> you know when we stop thinking about the past as a linear time and linear experience that we have a past we have a future and and something has already been you know gone and something is coming that's the linear way of thinking and that's how we usually talk here on earth but how we want you to start to implement is also by healing everything from your past. You're healing the now and you're healing the future because everything is now. And that also has to do with your lineage, um, your generational lineage in your family. And it also has to do with parallel lives, so-called um, previous lives. Uh, so everything that you manage to heal in this lifetime um, with yourself specifically, but also of course with other people, that will have an enormous effect on your life here and now and th the path that you are stepping into. So, and I can talk a lot about how to do that. And, and I think we have to do that in, a, in another <clears throat> video, but it starts with awareness, of course, being aware of what you carry within and um, how you can transform that. You can do that in many different ways. 
Uh, but you are the alchemist. You are the transformer. And this is a natural ability, ability that every human has. We have so much more capacity within us that, than we realize. We have a natural capacity to heal. And to um, transform energy. And to charge energy. And to transmute energy. Um, yeah, so the, <laughs> all right, so there's a lot of different things that we still need to learn about how we actually work. And this will this will happen in the next, I would say, 20, 30 years ahead, we will learn tremendously about how energy works. Not only the energy out there that we surround ourselves with and the energy in nature, but also our own energy. And what to do with that respectfully, you know. Because if you treat yourself respectfully, respectfully you also treat others with the respect um, naturally so um, and that's what we have to do when we become aware of energy and how energy works we we naturally want to respect that energy um, we will understand properly um, the concept of uh, cause and effect. And it, it's a bit different from how we have learned, but yeah, it will be amazing <laughs> when everyone steps into that. Um, all right, so I think, yeah, I think that's enough for today that's how it tunes out so check in with yourself to see where you are about these door openings and what to do with them what to do with your distractions and how to focus your energy to um, to not only manifest in the now but also how to bring your wholeness your soul and your life into the future in a positive and good way all right thank you so much for listening and tuning in and subscribe if you like and leave me a comment about how this resonated with you i wish you an amazing week and i'll be back in a couple of days bye